hello friends this is the first video on to the video lecture series on uh, web scrapping and uh, web scrapping with the help of uh, python so uh, we'll uh, start uh, begin with the very basic example of uh, how to use uh, the python library for the web spread scrapping okay uh, it, this is the first tutorial so we'll see what we'll learn uh, in this uh, tutorial uh, first of all is the what is the web scrapping what is the uh, basic definition of web uh, scrapping uh, software installation is how what are the softwares uh, you require for the uh, web scrap uh, scrapping uh, we'll use generally the python uh, for this and uh, we'll uh, fetch one html page as a basic example and uh, display the content uh, of it okay let's start with uh, what is the web scrapping uh, web scrapping means uh, scrapping means the extracting the data and uh, web scrapping means you are extracting data from the different different uh, uh, website uh, let us try to find this with the help of one example uh, let's go to uh, the google.com now if you right click and uh, see view page source you will see the content whatever the google has sent while we request to the google.com web page it has a lot of contents of javascript html and the css now you want to extract some element out of uh, this full content like lot of div elements are there styles are there lot of classes of css styles are there that were the web scrapping is it but the google content is very clumsy and lot of contents are there so let us try with a very simple uh, url i have one uh, very simple one uh, i have taken from the python scrapping uh, website they have kept it okay okay this is the very simple one so if you right click and uh, see view page source then you will see that uh, uh, it has a whole html content so it has a one html tag inside that there is a uh, header is there inside the header there is a title of the page and after that the body uh, actually starts inside the body we have a one tag h1 and uh, another is a uh, div element so web scrapping is nothing but uh, you are getting this uh, data remote from the remote computer and you are extracting the individual data out of it as per your the requirement okay now let us see uh, what are the software installation uh, required for this so generally I use the Python uh, for it so you can install the Python and if you are already uh, working on a Ubuntu or a Linux based system so you have already a Python uh, in the Python, uh, there is one uh, built-in module of um, uh, URL lib, which is uh, uh, by default came inside the Python installation. So those package will use for the uh, uh, fetching the different uh, web page. Uh, I am using on my system the Jupyter, the IPython uh, notebook. You can, uh, as a development environment, you can use any other as per the com uh, your comforts. Uh, but this is a, a very good one, and you can easily start with. And uh, last one is the Beautiful Soap, which is uh, another Python module uh, will in, uh, will install. That what this Beautiful Soap will uh, actually do. Uh, whatever the HTML content uh, you get uh, after the fetching from the remote uh, U URL suppose whatever the manipulation and processing XML level HTML level you want to do you can get it you can do it uh, different different elements uh, of that HTML you can uh, extract uh, it that's why we'll use beautiful soap now once you install the beautiful soap uh, there is a simple command into uh, application get manager of the ubuntu i have already installed so i am not typing this command uh, again this is already installed if you just uh, paste it on your uh, console uh, it will work okay so these are the s minimum amount of software required uh, for the uh, web scrapping with the help of beauty python plus beautiful soap 
okay so last one uh, in this tutorial we'll see about uh, how to fetch just the simple page uh, the first task is import the required uh, python uh, module inside your development environment so let us see i have one uh, already uh, jupyter test notebook uh, available inside that so first we'll import the uh, python module which are the uh, required for url uh, fetching so it has a uh, i already a uh, url lib so we'll import url lib okay sorry actually from url lib import url open so this will load the uh, U, uh, url open function from the module inside the python url uh, url lib now uh, suppose we want to fetch this uh, web page and want to see the content of uh, it so the second task is we'll use this url open function from it and uh, will the display the content of this html uh, page okay so uh, we'll use url open and we'll supply this url as an argument to this function and we'll put uh, every html content inside the html variable so right now we have got uh, uh, whole content inside the html now suppose we want to display it into html so html contains uh, uh, one matter read so it will display every uh, element inside the html content what we got from the now you can see this element is exactly same as what we have seen here this is exactly same so that what uh, that's how uh, we have read the, how to read the content from the remote url with the help of url uh, lib library of the python uh, that's all for this lecture uh, in the subsequent lecture we'll see how to extract this data from this uh, uh, url and uh, what are the different manipulation you can do how to extract the links how to extract particular uh, kind of element based on uh, classes and attribute and everything uh, thanks guys for the watching and uh, keep commenting and subscribe it